Hallo und willkommen, ich bin Meister Lenz und you're watching Get Germanized, the fifth Q&A video. I am bored, what should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get Germanized. Sponsored by italki, the easy way to learn languages. More information at the end of the video. Chimpo says, what would your advice be to someone who might want to start their own YouTube channel? Equipment, apps to edit footage, camera equipment, etc. Well, equipment wise, I would always suggest a DSLR camera with a decent lens in front of it. I'm using the Canon 600D with a 55 millimeter lens, uh, with a, which is like kind of portrait lens, makes really nice quality shots and has like a low light, a high low light sensitivity. So that's always good. Um, but you can, of course, also start with your smartphone camera. Just make sure to hold it horizontally like that and not like this because that looks shit on YouTube afterwards. And uh, sound is really, really important. I recently invested in a 200 euro microphone, which is the PG42, the Shure PG42 USB version, um, because I like that you can just plug it into your computer. It delivers great sound. So that's what I'm using. But of course, you can start with a cheaper mic. For example, before that, I used the Rode shotgun mic which does a decent job as well. So yeah, in-camera sound mostly is crappy, but of course, if you don't have anything else, you can start off with that as well. Just try to develop into better things as you go along, because obviously good sound is always appreciated. My viewers probably appreciate that as well. Tell me in the comments if you do. <laughs> and um, apps, well, I use Premiere Pro, like um, Adobe Premiere Pro CC uh, 2015. At the moment I just uh, changed to that because my old uh, version, the CS6, wouldn't edit um, my new camera format uh, files. My new, new camera... My new camera's file formats. AVCHD or something like that, I think it is. And yeah, CS6 wouldn't edit those. I don't know why, like you wouldn't get any sound out of it. So I had to change to CC 2015, which is uh, doing a good job as well, obviously, because it's a newer version. And yeah, cheaper version, well, I don't know freeware really that all that well, so um, you might have to look that up on Google, but that's what I'm using. And After Effects, Adobe After Effects for like the intro, I made my intro in that, and I made some of the effects uh, for uh, get Germanized in that program as well. For example, the little, um, little, uh, what do you call that again? I forgot, I'm not that professional. <laughs> Uh, the little uh, thingy, the subtitle thing that says get Germanized vlogs and that kind of appears and disappears again. I once knew the name for that. And my advice in general is always um, bring quality content on a regular basis. Like at least once a week, have a certain day where you upload it, even better a certain time. I tr sometimes struggle with that because I'm busy, busy, busy all the time and so, you know, but of course you can uh, pre-schedule your video publications. So. You don't have to do it manually like I do all the time. You can <laughs> you can set a time and a date and then it will do that automatically. I do not know why I don't do that. I, I should really do that. Andrew Daggett says, how is it like to live in Germany? Well, it is pretty damn amazing, actually. It's not too shabby. It's really not, not too shabby. It's good. I like it. Alejandro Espinosa says, um, similar to that, have you heard Rammstein? And of course I have heard Ram of Rammstein. And Rammstein is one of my favorite bands, damn. <laughs> Everyone here in Germany knows Rammstein, if you want to be honest. And you as a German native speaker, what do you think about their songs? Well, they are really provocative, obviously. Some of their songs go a bit unter die Gürtellinie, maybe even, below the belt line, what you call that in English. Um, or for some people they do, I don't mind the lyrics, like, um, I know that they just want to shock you and that they want to, you know, you know shock you and, and kind of make you think about certain stuff, I suppose. So it's not all about, like, only shocking, you know. Haley Gillivan says, what is your favorite German city, place or attraction? <sighs> I've been asked this question so many times and I still don't have a good answer for that because there's so many nice places in Germany. I really enjoyed Berlin but probably only because I got to do so many cool things and went there with my friends and did stuff with my friends, I mean. Um, but I also enjoyed other cities like Cologne. Cologne is always fun if I go there, but also because I always go there when there are events on, like the Gamescom or video days or when I visit friends. And it's, it's really about having people you do stuff with there, I think. Uh, because I'm a big social person and so if I'm all by myself in a place, I get kind of sad and depressed. I'm not an introvert that much that way. And um, yeah, my favorite attraction would probably have to be the Cologne Cathedral. Cathedral, the, the Kölner Dom. 
and uh, going up there was just amazing and looking at it is just awesome because it is one of the prettiest most impressive buildings I've ever seen in real life. Would it be a good enough incentive um, for a German person to want to continue his or her conversation with me? Or is it just a minor surprise? Thank you. Well, Germans always love to actually practice the English, so they would obviously like that you try to speak German, but many Germans will just switch into English, which is really annoying to you guys, I know. <laughs> but we love practicing our English on people, um, which can be a problem if you come here to learn German, obviously. You might want to tell people then, hey, can we please talk in German for a while longer? Because I really want to learn it. And uh, so I wouldn't necessarily say that it's a big incentive to keep talking to you. You need to be interesting, I suppose, and friendly and all that kind of stuff that goes along with a normal conversation as well in any language. Um, so yeah, simple tuber MC says, the first video I've seen of you is a satire German hating on the Americans. Ah, yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> I found it hilarious. You've done a few other satires, but not many. When will you do more? I definitely want to do more, but I kind of want to like to prevent my channel from turning into a joke channel, kind of, you know, or into a joke that people say, oh, you're the guy that makes fun of Germans and the German language, right? Because I, that's not my, in, in, like, my, my incentive. That's not what I want to do. My intention, yeah, it's not my intention at all. I want to teach you people about the real Germany and the real German culture and language. And if I do too many satires, uh, people will get confused and some people might think like, oh, so, you know, what's real and what's not real. Um, I might do a few more though because I really really enjoy doing them. Um, so yeah, look forward to that in the future. Matricilli says, are you still not eating meat? Would you go vegan? Yeah, I haven't been eating meat since September 2013. Pretty much when Get Germanized was born. Coincidence or not? Who knows? And uh, I would consider going vegan maybe, but I love cheese on pizza too much. And I've heard that vegan cheese is really not that great. I have to try my first, uh, my first, myself first though. Hilde von Ribbentrop says, uh, can you imitate different German dialects? Borisch zum Beispiel or Switzerdeutsch? Well, not very well. My friend Nurgle, for example, can do a really funny Saxony accent. <laughs> but I can try like, I mag dich, oh, I mag dich auch, oh, grüezi, and stuff like that. That's Bavarian, I think. Or was it? Grüezi, is grüezi Bavarian or Switzerdeutsch? I forgot. And Switzerdeutsch, that just sounds like <laughs> to me when I speak it. Hallo, wie geht es dir? Die sprechen immer so, dass man immer hört die Kehlaute ganz intensiv. <laughs> That's the best I can do. Sorry if you're if you're Swiss and are offended by this. <laughs> Halle 299 says, I really want to know about the music culture in Germany. What kind of music do the people here in Germany? Is it true that in Germany being a musician is considered an important job as a doctor? Is it expensive to study music in Germany? Well, lots of questions. Um. We Germans love English music, but Schlager, like German folk music, is one of the biggest industries, music industries here in Germany. So we definitely listen to German music as well, but I would say that's more something for older people. I know there are some younger people that love Schlager for some reason as well. I'm not one of them, obviously, as you can tell. But uh, it's a big industry in Germany, this ah, happy or pretend to be happy culture, you know, and forget about all your problems. Um, people like that, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, because it makes them forget about their problems and uh, yeah mostly English music I would say though on the radio like lots and lots of English music all the time I love it too I love it and I don't know if being a musician is necessarily as high in reputation as being a doctor I mean stars just look at stars all over the world like what do you think is that as good as being a doctor and saving lives I mean, entertaining people always has a, va a value in the world, obviously. It distracts people from the bad shit that's going on or the, the problems that they have. But I wouldn't necessarily say it's as good as being a doctor or something like that. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Tell me in the comments below. Gottaku says, do you like animes? Max to animes. You know the anime No Game No Life, can stream? I do like anime a lot. That's actually the reason why I started uh, learning English more intensively back then. <laughs> 
Um, and no, I do not know that anime. I might look it up now, though. That's it for the fifth Q&A video, guys. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section for future videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos about the German language and culture. And if you really love the channel, then you can support it on patreon.com slash get Germanized. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen. You can't ban these guns. Mm. Get connected with real teachers and real native speakers on italki.com. Find the link to the page in the video description.